Today, we're gonna see if I can film B-roll of a bicycle. So I've been trying to get an actual real bike for a while now. Now one of the things that I've been wanting to do is for my wife and I to go down to like a bike shop and see if they'll like kind of like trot out a couple of bikes for us to like get fitted on and do all that kind of like outside. That's what I was hoping. So I called up like the, the local bike shop here. There's a couple, but I called one, the one that I thought would be closest that also has a running specialty store next to it. But I called them up and asked them how they were doing like on inventory and like fitting and all that stuff. I think they would have been fine like fitting us in the way that we wanted to do it like outside. But the guy was on the phone telling me like, you know what, I normally have about 300 bikes this time of year. Right now it's August. And he says, uh, you know, but now I have 15 bikes in stock right now. So I was like, uh, okay. I was like, do you think it's worth it for me to come by? And he's like, yeah, cause then I can get you fitted and then you can figure out like what you want and what you like and all that kind of stuff. So my wife and I thought about that, but instead we decided uh, after talking to my sister-in-law, she was like, yeah, I went to the Walmart in Manchester and they have a whole bunch of bikes. No bikes in the Walmart in Dubuque, but there are a bunch of them in the Walmart in Manchester. So my wife and I decided the next day, we're just gonna go. Cause we've been talking like pretty much since we got to Guttenberg at the other house that we wanted to get some bikes. That was like two months ago now. Uh, that was been back in June. And so like, we're like, you know, we've been trying to get stuff on Amazon, but we didn't know about what sizes and we were really worried about not having right fit. And we were kind of like letting, like getting like the exact right bike get in the way of us getting like a decent bike um, or any bike. And so uh, we decided to go up, we went to Walmart. It was, we realized it was the first time my wife and I had done something, just the two of us since basically like uh march uh so i'm calling that a date night we took a date to uh walmart and it was the first time either of us had been in a st well not either of us we'd each been in stores before but it was the first time the two of us had been in a store together so that was also kind of weird uh and i i love going to walmart i love kind of just like wandering and just like looking at everything that's in there but um you know, I was like, we're just gonna get some bikes, get in and get out, and that'll be it. Spend as little time in the store as possible. Uh, Cause as we were walking in, we saw that there's plenty of like self checkout type of lanes. So like we wouldn't have to even talk to a person. So we get in there and they did have lots of bikes, all mountain bikes and like beach cruisers. So two kinds of bikes we didn't really want. We we're looking for like hybrid or commuter style bikes, but we were there to get a bike. I wanted a bike. I wanted to get it that day. I wanted to be able to go home with it. We also picked up helmets because we left our helmets in Chicago. We also bought a bike for my daughter as well because she needs a bigger bike. And they had like the exact right size that uh, we needed right there. So we ended up leaving with three bikes. Three bikes, two helmets, um, all under like 450 bucks. Crazy. Um, so we get the bikes home. My daughter's loving her bike. Um, she's been having a great time with it. And we're kind of like riding it up and down the driveway here a little bit and, you know, testing everything out. Everything seems fine. And I suggest to my wife, let's go for a bike ride. It'd be kind of fun. So again, something for us to do together. We haven't had a lot of just like her, you, her and I time. Or her and me time, her and I, her and me time. And so uh, we thought we'd go out. 
I made it a total of 0.13 miles, and I know that because I did track the activity on my watch. I figured, you know what, let's track the activity, see how, you know, what the speeds are, that kind of thing. Uh, I made it 0.13 miles. I went to go switch a gear, and the derailleur, I think is what it was, just like completely like broke off of the back of the bike and got jammed in between the spokes and the frame. Uh, and so my bike came like screeching to a halt. Uh, I was in like the gravel, so it was like it just skidded to a halt. Fortunately, I didn't fall. I wasn't going that fast or anything like that, but um, I, I thought maybe the chain had fallen off and I can maybe figure out how to put that back on, but that wasn't the case. I had to walk the bike home. Fortunately, we hadn't gotten very far. So at that point, I'm like pretty annoyed. And I'm like, ah, just spent $200 on this bike. Um, I guess you get kind of what you pay for, but I was like, you know what? I just bought this bike. We're gonna take it back to the store. I didn't really want to go to a store again, but we did it. We went back to the store and I got another bike. We ended up, uh, we didn't have time for the two of us to go for a ride anymore, but I did ride it around kind of like up and down the driveway, make sure I was doing okay. And then eventually I did take it for a little bit of a longer ride, which is like the footage that you saw. The bike it works fine. I was thinking kind of like, it feels like a little bit squirrely at first. I was like, I don't know, something's wrong with this bike. It's a little bit short for me. Uh, the wheel size is the same wheel size that my wife has on her bike. So like, it's a little bit small for me uh, cause I'm about six inches taller than her. So um, I thought maybe, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to ride this, but um, it's cause I was in the gravel and, and I was, I guess I was going kind of fast, um, or felt like I was going kind of fast. Cause once I got onto like the regular paved surface, things were just fine. And I was just riding the bike and having a good time with it. Now I posted about it on Strava and people were pretty fired up about it. They were like, you wouldn't go to Walmart and buy running shoes and expect to train in that. So you shouldn't do that here. And I was like, kind of explaining like how long it had taken me to get like any bike at all. Um, cause I was just paralyzed with like all the variables and decisions, like the decisions I had to make on this day were like, do I want this one or do I want that one? Like those were like the options. Um, and the ultimate thing was like, I, I, I might do some training rides with this. Um, you know, I might like take it to go ride somewhere to work out, you know, that kind of thing. But like so far, what I've been doing with it is riding with my daughter. And so like, that's kind of like the main use with it. We did order online, uh, like one of those trailer carriers that you could put uh, a child in. And we're gonna put the, uh, my younger daughter in there and we're all hoping to, uh, the four of us to go for kind of like rides together. So that's like the main purpose of it. So, and, you know, uh, do I wish I had like a regular bike? Sure. Is this one working for me? So far. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm enjoying riding the bike. My butt is a little bit sore, um, but overall I'm enjoying it. My daughter really enjoys riding with me and I'm really enjoying riding with her. And I'm looking forward to when we finally get that bike carrier too, so we can go on a big old family ride because we've never done that before. So I think that's gonna be super fun and I can't wait. So that's the story with the bike. Um, maybe you'll see some uh, like uh, training activities on Strava. Probably not too many. Uh, if you have any questions about it uh, or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the, in the comments down below. Uh, I'd love to keep talking about it down there. Uh, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Uh, hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and your rides, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?